All right, so we are going to cut into a pie. Which one you want to cut into, hon? This one. All right. Let's move this one here. Yum. Yes. Hey everybody, Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make a super quick video for you. I'm gonna make a peanut butter pie. I was uh, watching a video um, over at Digging for Health, Andrea with Digging for Health, and she was participating in a Thanksgiving pie collaboration given by my table of three. And that was about two weeks ago, so I'm probably a little bit too late for that collaboration. But that's okay i'm still going to make this pie and i'm going to also put their uh, channel links down in the description below go check them out they're both really great channels but i'm going to make this peanut butter pie recipe today for you um, so stay tuned so we have a restaurant an amish restaurant here in oklahoma and um this is the first time that i had this pie was at that restaurant and i asked one of the gals if she would mind sharing that recipe with me and she kind of just said sure she was nice enough to tell me the ingredients and we went from there i didn't write it down or anything like that so i've kind of winged it over the years but i will put in the description below exactly what i put in here now i'm sure that their pie was much healthier she just told me it you know it, that pudding was in it well they probably made it from scratch we're going to make it from instant jello pudding today okay <laughs> not as healthy so but it's going to be all right all right, so we're gonna use two packages here because I'm gonna make two pies. My husband will be in the woods on Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna make a pie for here and then I'm gonna take a pie with me. So we're gonna use two boxes of instant vanilla pudding. The peanut butter is not in the filling, okay? As some would think. Now, this calls for three cups of milk, I believe, for the, the pudding. And for some reason, I don't see any pie recipe on here. It used to have, you know, it would tell you how much milk to put in the, for the pie. So we're going to do two and a half cups for each box. These are a uh, bigger box that we've got going on here. It's not the smaller one. This is uh, how many ounces? Well, anyway. So we're going to use five cups of milk because it would it actually require six cups for pudding but for pie we're going to do five cups so there's one three four tell me i did five and not six so i'm just going to whisk that up real quick if i did six we're going to have some runny pie All right, I whisked that for about two minutes and I think that I must have done it right because it's looking it's looking pretty good. Looking like pie filling, but we'll let that set just a little bit longer. We'll let that set up. So the next step is going to be to make our crumble topping, okay? And this is just uh, powdered sugar and peanut butter. So we are going to do, now I'll put the single recipe down in the description. I'm making double. So this uh, takes two cups of confectioner sugar, also known as powdered sugar. So there's one and two. Now let's see, let's go ahead and get the peanut butter in here. We're gonna do, it takes a half a cup for a single, so we're gonna do one full cup of peanut butter. Got a little bit left in there. All right, let's just dump this peanut butter right on in there. Gooey, gooey peanut butter. Okay, now we're just gonna mix this up until it's kind of a um, crumble texture. I forgot to mention that I've already um, heat, uh, cooked my two pie crust. It takes a regular pie crust. And uh, you know, just cook it as the directions say. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. That's about the texture that you want it to be at. Can you see it? Kind of like really crumbly. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to um, put some of that peanut butter uh, powder sugar mixture into the bottom of these shells, okay? So we're just going to kind of do it evenly here. Oh, 
leaving enough because uh, we're going to also top we're going to use the peanut butter crumble as a topping on top of the um, whipped cream so we're just going to put enough down here in the bottom let me see maybe just a tad bit more okay and these are deep dish here so anyway the pudding is set up nicely so apparently i did it correctly now we're just going to scoop some of this pudding right on top i'm going to kind of do it back and forth here oh boy <laughs> it looks so good okay so i was thinking if we had enough pudding if we had pudding left over well we would just have to eat some looks like it's going to be the perfect amount there might be a little bit left in the bowl okay so now the next step is going to be to put our topping our whipped topping on top give it a little stir I haven't made this pie in so long. So thank you, Andrea. I loved your video and plus it just inspired me to make a peanut butter pie for Thanksgiving. Look at that. I'm <laughs> putting so much it almost looks like a big fluffy meringue, doesn't it? But we're going to use all this whole tub here. We'll just, we're splitting it up. Guys, that looks so good. Somebody will get to lick that spatula. Would you like it? Oh, yeah. There you go. I'll hand it to you. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put on our peanut butter topping. Crumbles. It might be easier for me to get my hands on here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm taking this to family. <laughs> They probably would not want my hands all over their crumbles. So we'll just sprinkle it on, spread it apart. Voila! Look at those pies. Do those look great or what? Oh, goodness. I sure do hope you guys give this pie a try. Thank you, Andrea, for the inspiration. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. All right, so we are going to cut into a pie. Which one you want to cut into, hon? This one. All right. Let's move this one here. Yum. Yes. Like it probably could you know needs to be put in the refrigerator set up just a little bit longer i mean we just i just finished these pies and we are going to have a piece right now it smells like Reese's. yeah it does i don't know if i cut that evenly we're going to find out yeah you did it oh boy scoot that over how's thank, that thank you you are so welcome. Let me put it on the camera. Look at that. Yum, yum. It smells like greases. <laughs> Enjoy, baby. Smell it. Let me give you a shot of what the inside looks like, too. Can you see that? Yes, ma'am. Good stuff.